Well, Phil Casper joining you one more time from Garfield School. It is Kansas Heritage Day, and uh, fitting that we end KCLY's day anyway with a uh, veteran of Clay County Education and a veteran of Kansas Heritage Day that dates back to your father. You're picking up uh, right where Lawrence Pacey left off. Shirley Mall is joining us here with your brother Charles, and once again, we can't get Charles on the air. He just doesn't want to talk to us. So right. He'll he, talk, not, but not with the headset on. Right, exactly. He could tell stories as long as there wasn't a microphone in front of him. <laughs> you know, sitting there listening to him, it's like it's, if I close my eyes, I think I was talking to your dad. So, uh, But let, let's start with your dad a little bit. Lawrence did this for years, years. Uh, years. rope making. And, and anybody, I think any kid that went through Clay County School System met your dad and, and loved the man. He was just so much fun. Right. I had him come in as a presenter in my classroom for years and years, and the kids would always ask to have him back. And one of his great uh, things that he loved to do was to make rope for the children. And it dates back to when I was in, oh, let's see, fourth grade. Fourth grade, I remember, which would put me about 10 years old, which would put me about 50-some years ago. Uh, we would make rope at recess time or lunchtime. We were at a one-room schoolhouse at Tub School, and uh, we did a lot of it back then just out of necessity because my parents farmed and they did custom hay and hauled a lot of bales on trailers and so on. So we used those as uh, the tie-downs when we would haul the hay back to the barn or wherever we were headed with it. So we used them just as a necessity, and so... We learned a long, long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> and, and carrying on right where your dad left off, I know now you and Charles come in, and, and, and again, that's what you're doing. I know this is it's a very popular activity with kids. A lot of them will mention it when they come talk to me as the rope making. Right. And they really enjoy that, and I'm sure they get to hear some some of uh, Charles' stories. A little bit, yeah. A little bit of story right. telling. Well, Shirley, I know you, uh, you – like a couple other people here today, you've dealt with this on a couple of different levels as a teacher now, as a presenter, and, and uh, it's got to be nice for you to come back to school once a year and do this. Yes, it is. It is awfully nice. And, and when my dad quit, my, my kids that were sixth graders when I retired in 2010, they are now in, uh, oh gosh, I think they're seniors in high school. So well, maybe it was in 2010. Uh, but anyway, they're seniors, and they still ask me about my dad because he has since passed. Right. So they are my last class that went through middle school with me. But um, most all the kids that are still, you know, around have seen the rope making and so on. So just nice opportunity to give back to the community and come in and do something that's a little fun and yet educational. Well, it's a lot of fun, and I've talked with other presenters as well. Kansas Heritage Day is such a cool thing here at Garfield School, but I think a lot of times kids, it's just a fun day for them. They don't realize they've learned anything until maybe a year or two down the road when they see a presenter. And I've had a couple of presenters say the kids will stop us and say, hey, I remember you from right. Kansas Heritage Day for whatever. And I imagine you'll probably get the same thing. Right, right. And it's just fun to communicate with the kids in that respect, that they see us in a different uh, avenue rather than being a school teacher. They see me as a presenter, right. but yet they know me. Well, Shirley, we appreciate you taking the time to come talk to us and, and uh, what you and your brother Charles continue to do for, for Kansas Heritage Day. And, and I'm making it a goal of, of mine to get Charles on the air one of these years. You know, if we didn't have a microphone in front of him, he would probably tell you the story of the Dust Bowl when it came through uh, the Hammerley right. School District. I mean, I remember my grandma telling us about it, and she said you couldn't see in front of your hand, and it scared her half to death. And so she went to the school. I don't know how she made it there because it was two miles away, but she got the children from the school because it was, it was just overwhelmingly scaring the the community sure. and so on. So, and that's what Charles was talking about. Maybe. Right. We should have let him keep going. Let him keep going. That's when, the sure. w, when the WPA was working on our pond just when it came through. And so they they had to, of course, stop with the equipment and so on, and we couldn't see anything. Well, Shirley, again, thank you very much for taking the time to talk to us. Thanks for continuing to come and be a part of Kansas Heritage Day. Also, I do want to say thanks. We wrap up KCLY's coverage. Now, this will be going on for the rest of the day at Garfield School. I do want to thank all the sponsors uh, that make this broadcast possible. Clay County National Bank, Hutchinson Bay Ranch, United Bank and Trust, Blue Stem Electric Cooperative, Farmers and Merchants State Bank of Wakefield, Longford, a branch of Riley State Bank, 22nd District State